Greetings and welcome, my friend, to the Red Delta Project YouTube channel. I'm Matt Schifferly, and today I'm answering a question that came through the RDP mailbox from Mark Wynn Stanley asking, Matt, if I wanted to get jacked in six to eight weeks, basically beach body ready, what are the best exercises for me to do that? Well, physiological change from a physique or recomposition is one of the hardest things to do in fitness, bar none. I mean, building a decent amount of muscle so you look different is ridiculously hard to do. Losing enough body fat so you increase muscle tone, again, really hard to do. You put the two together on any time frame, and we're talking Mission Impossible kind of stuff in most cases, and now you have this shorter time frame. It's like, oh boy, now we're really starting to have our feet to the fire. And plus, it, one of these things of, well, it depends entirely on what's your current state, what's your body fat level, how much muscle do you have, how much strength do you have, what's your proficiency, what's your time frame, what's your schedule like, what do you enjoy doing, uh, how good is your muscular activation, what kind of schedule in your training works well for you, split training, full. It takes six to eight weeks sometimes with a new client just to figure out what kind of routine they should be following, let alone getting somewhere with that routine. But still, I think I've got some ideas that can really help you. Because after all here at Red Delta Project, it's not about what you're doing specifically in diet and exercise that gets results. It's how well you're impacting the fundamental processes of mother and human nature that are actually responsible for your results. And so what we need to do is recognize that in order to get something to happen, we're talking about a training process, right? And the fundamental process for physiological training is we create a stimulus through our exercise, and then we have a recovery where our body adapts and changes according to that stimulus. Now, when we have your traditional strength training type exercises, you're typically looking at creating a big stimulus with fairly long, hard workouts and having a good amount of time for recovery. So this process is a big time consuming loop, but you don't have a lot of time. You got six to eight weeks, which in the grand scheme of things of a training career is the blink of an eye. So you can't afford to train your legs once a week or your shoulders twice a week because in six weeks, you're, that only means you're going to hit it 12 times. That's not a lot. So what we got to do is take that process and shrink it down and make it much more focused in the areas that are going to make the biggest difference while at the, tame t at the blah, same time, because I can't talk right now, speeding that up so you're effectively creating instead of that process 12 or 16 times over six to eight weeks, but 20, 30, or even 40 times. And there's several ways we could do this. First of all, we're gonna take most of all the potential exercises at your disposal and put them in the trash. We don't wanna focus on that. Instead, what you want to do is focus on push, pull, and squat. There's a reason why I wrote that ebook about it is because if you're looking to get the biggest influence over the shape of your physique in the least amount of time and quick as possible, Pushing, pulling, and squat chain movements are where you're gonna to wanna to focus your attention. It's not the ab stuff. It's not you know working on your forearms or hitting your biceps from every conceivable angle. Push, pull, squat is where you wanna focus your attention. Now, since you asked particularly about calisthenics training, then what we wanna do is focus on some exercises that are gonna make it as easy as possible for you to challenge your muscular work capacity to change the size of the muscle with as little skill and proficiency as required as possible. So these exercises are part of my new program that I'm gonna be coming out later this year called Beautiful Strength. It's basically how do you use calisthenics to change your body to look as sexy as possible or as attractive as possible. And some of the corner exercises is first and foremost, it's not dips, it's not handstand push-ups, God no, it's the dive bomber style push-up. Dive bomber push-ups are relatively low skill. You get a big range of motion. You're gonna be hitting your triceps, you're gonna hit your shoulders and your chest in a much more complete holistic way compared to like push-ups and dips and so on. Plus, it's something that you can progress with either your hands coming closer together or having your feet elevated on something like a, a step or something, usually about six to eight inches is all you're really going to need. So that's gonna take care of your push chain. Then for your pull chain, it's not pull-ups, but row variations that's gonna do the most for you. And the reason for that is because a lot of folks struggle with pull-ups. When you struggle with an exercise, 
you're making it a heck of a lot harder to effectively create that stimulus you're after. So we want things that are relatively easy for you to get in kind of that bodybuilding sweet spot of like eight to 12 repetitions. If you're in three to five rep range and you're not really feeling it in your back or your body positions all over the place or it's like hit or miss and one workout to the other, it's not gonna happen very quickly. So row variations where you can progress it from your body angle, going with unilateral exercises or single arm like lat rows or having your legs out further, it gives you a lot of variability in making that work your pull chain, your back and your biceps and your grip very hard with relatively little skill. And then for your legs, lunges are where it's at. This can be a variety, of course. You could be doing step ups, which are a lunge variation. You could do reverse lunges where you're stepping back, walking lunges with dumbbells, weight vests, anything that you find uh, on hand. <laughs> I used to do lunges with children in my arms when I was studying abroad in Japan. But the reason for lunges, instead of things like pistol squats and stuff, is the same thing as for pull-ups. We don't want exercises that you're struggling with with the proficiency. You want something that you can practice on a very frequent basis and really push your muscles to a high degree of their work capacity. So that way you're taking that stimulus and adaptation cycle and speeding it up. And that's gonna be a lot easier to do with general lunge exercises than anything that requires a lot of stability and proficiency. So those are your bread and butter moves. From there, I also recommend just basic arm work because who doesn't like doing that? It's also satisfying as hell. Strap curls, tricep extensions, and shoulder flexions can be very effective for helping to just build up the upper body a little bit and give it some aesthetic weight, if you will. And they're good finishers or you can superset. So you get like your dive bomber pushups and then go right into your tricep extensions back and forth for a killer push chain workout. And then you've got your rows and your curls. That works extremely well. So you do a set of rows. One of the ones I give people is eight rows. And then you immediately back up and blast your biceps with uh, suspension curls right afterwards for eight to 12. So it's eight reps, rows, 12 curls, really hits the arms really hard, very satisfying as well. And then you can have the shoulder flexions and that's just basically building up the upper body and the shoulders and the upper traps a little bit because when it comes to trying to change the physique proportions, that's gonna carry a lot of influential weight as well. And I know you're on a real quick time crunch here, Mark, but I would seriously give isometrics a try if you haven't tried it before. And the reason for that is very simple, is because they are one of the purest forms of strength training available. You can push your muscles tension capacity extremely high and the endurance capacity extremely high because you could just do it for good long periods of time. So you're challenging your muscular work capacity very hard but they don't stress your systems nearly as much, which means you can do it again on a much more frequent basis. You can blast the hell out of your arms with a set of isometrics four, five, six times a week. And again, taking that cycle and speeding it up like crazy. So instead of taking a week for every rotation or two or three rotations per week, you're doing it on a 24 hour basis, which is only going to speed up your adaptations. And of course we can't neglect getting just a little lower body fat percentage. Now the variable that's going to make the biggest difference in helping you quote, get jacked, depends on what you're starting with. If you're relatively small muscle mass, but you're lean, don't worry about losing weight and losing body fat at all. Focus on building muscle. But if you're already pretty big and a fairly big muscular dude, and you're more soft, then focus a little bit more on the fat loss side of things. And for that, the standard practices apply. Uh, focus on plenty of protein at each meal, plant-based foods, and uh, if you can, it's not always possible. I always tell people, if you're really looking to lose weight, eliminate just any form of liquid calories. Even smoothies and protein shakes and everything like that, get it from real food. That's going to have by far the biggest caloric influence is the stuff you're com consuming from a liquid calorie standpoint. And then you're just looking at general stuff like um, fruits and vegetables, meats and don't overeat and all these other sorts of things that we already know we need to be doing. Don't worry too much about dialing in the perfect diet when it comes to having like a fast degree of weight loss. Just make sure you're getting your big bases covered. 
So thanks again, Mark, for writing in. I do hope that helps a little bit. Uh, hit me up again at the Red Delta Project at gmail.com if you have any further follow-up questions that I can answer for you. But best of luck in this journey, man, and I'd love to hear how your progress is made and the end result of the whole thing. Talk to you folks later. Let me know if you have questions down below. Sincerely appreciated. Be fit and live free.